are you thinking about making a move to Greensboro, North Carolina, and you want to know all there is to know about the Guilford Courthouse Military Park? Well, today you are going to want to check out this video. My name is Meredith Parsons. I'm a realtor. I live here. I love it here. I want you to move here and love it here as much as I do. And if you could do this, it would be so awesome. If you could like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, because each week I'm going to be taking you on a little tour, a little adventure of all things Greensboro Triad area, and I wouldn't want you to miss out. You ready for this tour? Let's go. Today we are at the Guilford Courthouse and Military Park and this um, was one of the major turning points um, in the Revolutionary War. It is where we were fighting the British and with Nathaniel Green, which is who Greensboro is named after. And so I'm going to give you a little spin of where we are now, which is Monument Row. But right behind me over there is the Visitor Center. And that is where I would tell you to start. The Visitor Center is a great place to start. Um, it's inside, you can park, you can go to the, you can park for free. They have a bathroom there, they have a video that they show. Oh, so that's one of the things that you get to do is they have a scavenger hunt for the junior park rangers, junior park rangers, um, or they have one for an adult. And then if you go around and do your scavenger hunt and see everything, then you can go back and they'll give you a badge at the end of it. So we're kind of one of those families that love culture and little scavenger hunts. So if that's your jam, go for it, right? There's nothing wrong with it. So this is located on the northern section of town. It's sandwiched in between Old Battleground and regular Battleground 220. And what I love about over here is um, it's very wooded. Um, so it was a pretty hot day today and because we've got big trees over here, you um, <clears throat> are shaded by the sun. So it's a good 10 degrees cooler and you can see behind me um, that every, you've got a big paved pathway. So I think we can, let's just walk this way. Um, you can see that they've got the fences up for the battleground, for the battlefield. Love it. So. This is a good area. There's three different parking lots. The one over here stays open all the time. And what's great about this at the um, military park is it loops into other ones. So you've got the greenway that's about 80 miles long, which goes all the way to High Point. Um, you can take this all the way out to Summerfield. If you want to see my other videos that I did on green, green spaces in Greensboro, that will show you where it goes all the way out to Burr Mill, even past that. Um, so that's a good thing. You will always see people out here running and walking and then also you can cut over and get over to Country Park, which is just right over there. And then that's where the um, Science Center is over that way. So you can walk this or you can drive it. So the driving part is two and a half miles long, but the walking part of this loop is um, 1.75 miles. So I'll spin it around so you can get a good idea of what it looks like behind me. But everything's got, um, this is the parking lot I was saying about. So there's no gates over here. Okay, and now we're going over. So what's great is through here is there's lots of informational things. There's lots of things to read. So if you're a history buff, this is something that you can check out. If you're not, it's still a really pretty setting back in here. I mean, it is a national park. So you can have pets, no horses. But then this is the loop. You can see it on here. Oh my God, the sign center. It's so big. Because they are trying to preserve the land here, you're not supposed to have picnics. You're not supposed to be messing around um, on the grassy areas, which you get, right? So over there, I'm gonna take us over to go see the um, Nathaniel Green Monument. When you follow these, can take the tour. Here's another great statue behind me. This is the Moorhead, which if you can see, 
We have one of our uh, public schools named after him. And he was in charge of the, he was the second president of the Guilford County Battleground Company. Wow, I had a hard time getting that one out. The heat's getting to me. So let me um, just spin it around so you can see a little bit of how shaded it is. It's kind of weavy and you've got a little footpath here. It's really shaded and it's much cooler here. I appreciate you sticking to the end. If you have any questions on the Guilford Courthouse Military Park, put them in the comments below. I appreciate you and I'll see you next time. Bye.